Hello and welcome to Raflimps. This is Swarov Hosan and today we are going to learn how we can perform cataloging and copy cataloging on Koha ILS with multiple items. So this is one of the basic but most important topic and we need to understand how effectively and how easily we can perform cataloging on Koha. Not only cataloging but also the copy cataloging. So I just need to open the my web browser and then I'll open the Koha manual to show you what actually I'm going to do. So Koha manual, you just need to write Koha manual on your web browser and the version you are using. The latest version 20.05 has been released on 1st June 2020. So just enter and uh, uh, I mean just write the name. I mean the Koha manual and uh, and press enter and there you can see this is actually the Koha manual. On Koha manual you will find the each and every answer of your query about Koha. So we just going to perform cataloging and let me show you. So you can see this is cataloging and the cataloging we have bibliographic record, we have item records, we have authorities and we have cataloging guides. So bibliographic record on Koha we perform cataloging in on two uh, stations. One is record cataloging and then is item cataloging. So and we need to understand both both of them. For example, you have one book and it has uh, and multiple copies. So the record information is actually uh, bibliographic description of that particular book. For example, the title of the book, art, uh, author of that book, the physical description of that book. These information is count in record information. Then item information could be accession number, could be the library code, and uh, it could be the uh, amount you purchase or source of acquisition and the call number. I mean, these types of information are actually uh, item information or a pack note or something like this. And then we have cataloging guides. So let me show you cataloging guide first. So on cataloging guide, you will find the important mark tag and their description and the instructions and the label. For example, 000 is leader number and the description of this is this is actually the Describe the records so you can see and then we have control number control number is actually accession number and then we have control number Identifier your mark organizational code so you can see this is actually and these fields are some some of the fields are actually click in this field to fill it in so they are actually will automatically fill if the if you have your mark organizational code so so it will automatically actually fill the data there are some fields actually with zero uh, tag okay and then we have 001 is 010 so lccn then we have 020 for isbn 022 for issn and then we have 033 i mean so you can say actually 040 is quite important and there you need to provide the identifier which libraries create and modify the record so you need to provide your library code your library oclc code if you have in subfield c so you can provide actually or uh, if you don't have oclc code you can write your library code as it is then language code and then 100 for main entry personal so you can write the author name and then you can write this actually uh, main entry corporate name if there's a corporate name so you can write the corporate name 245 for title and then 250 is for addition and 260 is for imprint area and then we have physical description 300 series statement 490 and journal note you can write journal note with 500 and then there's the formatted content if you want to write content so you can use this field is 505 
and summary if you want to write summary you can use this and language and, and lots of things actually you can read more about them so 600 is actually for topical or geographical terms i mean the subject heading so you can provide subject headings there all the keywords if you want to and 700 is for edited entry means second author <coughs> or the corporate author if you want to write and then we have 800 800 856 is quite important i'll show you how important it is and then 942 edited entry i elements for koha so let us move to our real work so just need to write koha demo koha demo it's uh, actually the demo versions available i mean koha demo versions available on koha uh, community sites so you can see there are numbers of vendors those actually provide paid consultancy and for the practice of their staff i mean for the practice of their client they actually provide the demo version but these demo versions are also for journal public so you can use this this is actually mark 2 one and this is actually 20.05 the current version and the staff login and then the password and opac as well so you can use this or you can use this it's 19.11 this one is for 18.11 so let me select the very first link and the login password i mean login id and password is demo demo so there you just need to log in with demo and demo so this is actually the koha staff interface the complete interface with every module circulation cataloging pattern series advanced search acquisition reports tools administration and about koha so we are actually going to perform cataloging so let me click cataloging and we have two way out and by the way if you want to learn more about mark tag so you can check the i button or description of this video and you will find a complete video about mark structure and how they work and the most important fields of mark so there we have actually two uh option so you can actually select uh, add new record and you can add a record from c39.50 uh client or sru client c39.50 uh, is one of the protocol to fetch data so you can use uh this protocol and you can fetch data from your client library i mean the add added client library whatever you add with c39.50 uh, so but how you can add z39.50 client so i have already made a video on this so you can check in koha administration so you can find the uh, video within the uh, description of this video and the check the i button okay so but now actually i'm going to perform cataloging with add new record and there you need to select the framework and how you can add a framework how how you can add it the framework or how you can lead the framework so there's also a video available in the description of this video and and also in on the i button so let us use the default framework to show you the complete details about this and in more detail actually so it has translated from german to english so maybe some field has uh, provide the name change actually so the big block identifies actually the leader number 000 so the leader number we just need to click on this field and it will auto fill and then we have control number control number is actually accession number so you can fill the control number if you want or you can leave this as a test because you will fill when the uh, when you will enter the item so you can use that um, if you want to okay and then we have control number identifier you just write here and then date 
So you can see this is actually date and time of the last transaction. So you can see this is actually the date. It's 2020 year and then we have uh, month and then we have date here. So it's 23rd June 2020 and then we have time here. So they actually use the ISO time date and time format and then we have fixed field and then you can see the fixed field fixed length field for physical description so you just check this what happened here or even you can add this if you want to for example we are adding a book record and then the date is this see and the language mark code is English or you can change with Urdu if there's some Urdu book. And after this, we just move on. And zero to zero, it's quite important. You, there you need to provide the uh, I, ISBN number without dashes in field of sub, I mean in sub field of A. So let me provide this actually I have already written this book so this is actually one ISBN number and if there's a serial so you can provide ISSN number and this is actually important if your library is registered with OCLC you so you can provide your transfer agency I mean your library code here or you can write your library code as it is there's no actually harm in it and then 050 is for call number call number a i mean library of congress call number is a signature of the library of congress actually the translation is, is the call number actually so <laughs> you can write the call number here so the main, uh, if you are using Library of Congress classification scheme, so you can write the call number here. And it's divided in A and B. And then 082, 082 is for DV number. If you are using LC, so you will fill 050. Or if you are using uh, DDC, so you will fill this. So we are working with DDC. So just write the DV number here. It's 65. Eight and decimal eight, and then in B we will write the author mark. For example, Kotler. So you can write this is actually the author mark, or you can write the cutter K six eight. So K is for Kotler, and this is actually the cutter number. So this is complete cutter number. So how we can actually work with cutter? So there are multiple tools. When we come to uh, classification side, I'll discuss in detail. So let's move on, and then after this, we have after zero, we have another tab. So zero has these field. So we have complete all them, and not all of them, but the most important. 100 is for author so author has these fields so for example we are working with the personal name so just write the Kotler flip flip Kotler or you can add full stop or not if you wish to you can add actually but this is actually the right way And then it's for corporate name. If you want to add corporate name, so you can actually. And then let's move on to two. Two is for title. I mean, this area is for title. I mean, this is actually title area, key title, or you can use short title, uniform title, journal uniform title, and the title. Title is actually required field. So two four five a that you need to fill. For example, the title of the book 
is Kotler on marketing. Kotler is one of the author, famous author for marketing. And maybe uh, uh, you have read his book. So, and if you want to add subtitles, you need to use B for additional title or subtitle or parallel title. And you need to write the statement of responsibility, for example, Philip Hotler. This is actually the statement of responsibility. And you can add medium as well if you wish to. As much as information you will add in your catalog, it will be better. It will more option to search. And 260 is for imprint area so there you need to write the place of publication for example the place of publication is okay new york this is just an example and then name of publisher i don't know the name of publisher just write and as an example it's raf limbs and then air of publication would be some all the copyright air so if you are writing copyright air you just need to write C. okay sorry you just need to add the air here that's it <clears throat> and 300 is for physical description for example this book has 230 pages this is just an example so you can write page you can if you are using uh aacr two rules so you just write this way or if you are using uh if you are working with the rda so you can use rda rules for example this is one of the rda rules and if you want to learn more about rda you uh, and the difference between rd and acr2 so you can check out video within the description of this video and the uh, check the i button as well so anyhow this is just an example and b is what you can add the dimension or other physical description for example this book has uh, roman pages as well so you can add roman pages physical description dimension accomplished material so you can add accomplished material types of unit and unit size so you can provide the information that you have And 400 is actually for series. This section is for series, volume number and sequence. If you're working with series, so you can add. And the 500 is for journal note. For example, you just write include uh, index. This is just an example, whatever. And you can add actually content. You want to add content so you can add content and then we have 600 600 is important for topical and geographical terms so additional uh, entry under a keyword so if there's a you are writing personal name author as a key you can use this or you can use topical term for example Kotler or if you are using this as a topical term so you can use this like this keyword or geographical name <coughs> for example marketing And if you want to add subdivision, journal subdivision, so you can use X. This is X. Or if you want to use chronological division, so you can use this Y. Geographical division, so you can use D. Okay. So we use actually journal division, so X would be better actually. Subdivision by shape journal subdivision so we use journal subdivision so you can add actually uh, Kotler as well you can use Kotler as in journal subdivision and you can you be clone this subfield so you can add 
clone can I clone this multiple for multiple actually subject headings so for example finance i'm not expert in this but i have read this book in big comma so that's why and uh, this could be actually okay so let's move on and uh, indexing term if you want to add some indexing term you can actually as much as information you will provide the catalog result would be amazing 700 is for co-author if there's some co-author you will write the name of co-author in a 700 a for example let me write my name here and there's no need to invert actually if there's some corporate name so you will write the second corporate name would be from here in 710 and then 8 800 is quite important actually so if you if the book is available online for example or is there any material available online and you want to provide the link of that particular material or book so you can use this field actually 856 or if you are just cataloging ebook so you can use this actually this link the u is for link for example this book is available at this link this is just an example So this book is available on this link and you but to alter this link you need to write uh, some description for example click here so the people when search they will find these this this actually uh, specific material information either of this link click here to download ebook this is just an example or you can change this actually or if there's a link available so you can provide the link here or pack note you can add a pack note here anyways so this way you can actually catalog ebooks as well instead to add item you just need to provide the link here and then nine nine is for additional fields of koha there you need to select the classification source we are using etc and you need to select the item type this is koha media type it's actually item type and there we need to select the koha item type it has translated koha media type it's not media type it's actually item type and we need to provide item and you need to remember this sub field code okay. okay and finally we need to save this record information and we need to add it items and there we have three options you can see this is actually view record and continue editing so we are at uh, we have saved the record information the bibliographic description of this book and now we are actually adding the item information i mean the copy information expression number and the call number and the uh, library code okay so you can see there are number of fields zero two there you need to select the classification source and you can also select the status if there's a book damage restrictions on use okay the home library would be central library and you can select the home library and the resident library is actually current library it's not resident library so you need to select the current library here and then 
and this side is about the collection code or the shelving location so for example this is the shelving location so you can add shelving location but if you want to know how to add shelving location within this drop down you need to check the i description uh, i mean uh, i button and the description of this video i have already made the video on this and you can even check the koha uh, series complete series and you will find lots of videos i mean the helpful video but there's a one condition you need to watch the video completely and you will learn a lot and then date of acquisition date of acquisition is you can write the date of acquisition you can select the by default it will select the uh, today's date and then supplier supplier could be your so, uh, source of acquisition uh, and then we have purchase price air issued for example you are writing price this book is about 2000 rupee so there's no need to write dollar sign or rupee sign you the currency is already added with your koha uh, when you work on koha administration so we i have a video on this topic too so you must check it out and then inventory number the air number and line number but these fields are some important I'm actually going to fill. And then signature is actually the call number. This translate from German to English. It's the translate signature. This is not signature. This is call number. And then P is important. O P. Uh, A B O P. And this is also important if you wish to provide. But if you don't wish to provide. So it's good. But a b o p they are most important so you just need to write the barcode number here zero zero one what was that okay barcode number and the, if there's a copy number so you can add the copy number price so you can provide provide the price here already we have written here purchase price and then price for the book replacement for example you will replace this book uh, with some additional amount so you can add this if you want to okay internal notes so you can write internal note for your staff and then we have media type i mean item type and then we have to select the opaque note if you wish to provide some opaque note on koha opaque so you can add this is uh, an important book this is just a random example. It's not something like I'm writing something. Or you can write this book is first. will be issued on first come <laughs> we have limited copies okay so and then you need to add item add and duplicate you if you want to duplicate this so you can actually and add multiple copies so if you are providing copy number so you will click here you will click here if you just want to add this item or if you want to copy the information that we have written here so you can click add and for example you have number of copies for example you have five copies here for this title you have five copies so you just click so one is added here see and one is copy here so you can change the 
barcode number just the barcode number it's available on zero i mean p and if there's some change in price so you can mention the price change for example this book is available on this price and you have purchased from a particular vendor so you can add the vendor number here i mean source of acquisition and you can actually write if you are getting this book as a donation so you can add donation here okay then add item so we have added two copies here one this one and then see similar you can add as much as you want to okay let us see what we did actually just search the catalog and just research marketing see this is what we did actually And this is what uh, the main title, author, contributor, I mean, second author, and then this is text and the publisher. Number of fields actually change with Bip frame style. Bip frame actually you're going to replace mark, maybe, I don't know when, but it's actually going to replace mark. So in Big Frame, we usually provide the links. Data will be in hyperlinks in metadata style. I mean data to data. So when you click on this RAFLIM, so it will automatically show you the books available by the RAFLIM. When you click on this author, it will show you the books of this author. So this is what actually. And then we have a, if you just click here to download the book you will see showing you the raft limbs uh, uh, link in the down there you will see the link anyhow and this this link is available also so let me open this on opac and show you what we did actually marketing see pack node is also available this is one the author terms personal name and then this is actually the topical term or we can use this as keywords i'll show you Added record. Instead of add as a subdivisions, so you can actually six five zero. Instead to add as a, this is like a subdivision, so you can add as a keyword. Let me show you how. Example, let me remove this. And you just need to repeat this field as many as uh, keywords you will provide. For example, you are working 
Kotler. You are providing finance. And you need to add a promotion. Now see what happened here. Just check this. This is actually a uh, subject heading style. And I am actually going to change this as a keyword style. And let me save now. So we have different keywords. So this way we actually perform the cataloging of Koha in Koha. This is one of the basic tools that we have taught. And now let me show you how we can perform copy cataloging. So let us go to Koha staff panel and there in cataloging we have a way out to new from Z39.50 SRU. And there you will can, I mean, there you can actually select the client. For example, we have Library of Congress, we have this library and the SRU client. You can also select the SRU client, but this is actually fine. And there you can provide the ISBN number and you can provide the ISBN number for uh, exact title and uh, you can also provide the title to search and there are different fields available for example let me search by isbn number or let me search by title so i have this book actually and let me add this one transforming libraries okay title and now search and you can check uh, how we can add the z39.50 client or sru client in the description of this video i hope i have already made the video on this topic in koha administration might take few times actually uh, internet is down nowadays and now you can see number of results available so you can see there are number of books available and you can find your title as well you're looking for or you can provide the ISBN number for exact result for example I want this book transforming libraries building communities um and there we have few options so you can check the mark view you can check the card view and you can import the record for example let me check the card view this is actually the card view you can see this is actually the card view or you can check the mark view and you can import actually if you think the book is right and then you can import this on, and now let's see what happened. The whole tabs and the fields are automatically filled because you have imported the record. See? And you can change this with your library. For example, you are. can change this actually and then this is actually library of congress classification number this is main c and then subdivision cutter and the air this is actually the library of congress classification number and you can add the cutter if you want to or the author mark for example author is 100 this is actually the author e w e d w so you can just use this uh, 
or you can use this cutter as well. There are two ways actually. We can add a not here A and B. B. A and B. Okay. See, the complete information is available. Publisher, place of publication, publisher, and year. Title, subtitle, statement of responsibility, pages, I mean the Roman pages, pages, dimension, see all are mentioned here. Six five zero with this subject heading and then sub journal subdivision geographical subdivision seven hundred if there's some eight hundred field is also and if you have some online material so you can add with this you and three nine hundred there you can actually change this with your specific material for example you are using db you just write db here and the koha item type just need to select the item type that's all similar you have to perform save and add it it says 003 subfield 0. Okay, now just need to click here and then save and add it. Add. Okay, there you need to provide the item details, I mean the copy details. These four fields are most important. A, B, O, P. In P, we will write the barcode number or accession number. Both can be same or can be different. add item add and duplicate for example you add this one and you want to duplicate this so you can duplicate this or even you want to add the same item as a second copy or the third copy a fourth copy or whatever the number of copy you have so you can add after editing after after cataloging this and you want to add once again for example you buy a, a new copy in some after a few months, you can add this actually. Transforming libraries. Add this. Let me copy this and let me select this. You can search on catalog. So we what we do, we perform copy cataloging of single book, and there's a complete book is available here. See the content also mentioned here. And let's suppose after a few months you just add a new book, I mean new copy of this book. So you just need to go at new and new item. And there you can actually add the new item in a similar way. You can add the price.
barcode number. And you can even write the opaque note as well that we have talked. And date of acquisition, area, I mean the collection code or shelving location. And let's suppose this book may be damaged, so you can add this status here. Damage. Or if had for example, it has lost, so you can add this status here. This is eliminated, it's not eliminated actually. And save this. Now we have two records of this, two copies of this book. And let me search here. So that's all for today. We have discussed how we can perform cataloging and copy cataloging in Koha uh, with multiple items. In next video, we will talk how we can actually convert the data and the data conversion from Excel to Mark and how we can actually import the batch file into Koha. Thank you very much. You are watching Raflims. This is Farrokh Hussain.